As we all know, Genexus is multi-platform because it lets us describe what we need in a system and decide to generate part of the application in a web environment and another part for a mobile device, as well as select a specific language for generating the code and choosing a particular database to store the information relative to the application. Genexus also offers the possibility of generating the application in the cloud. Specifically for prototyping, Genexus has available the Amazon Cloud. The installation may otherwise be local. It is possible to generate certain parts in one language and other parts in a different language, and for more than one environment and interacting with several databases. In this course, since we must select one of the generation environments that Genexus offers to be shown, we will describe and generate a part of the requirements that will enable end users to work in web environment. That part will comprise the backend of an application for a travel agency. What we call backend is the internal application used only by the staff of the travel agency in order to enter data on the countries, cities, and tourist attractions offered, as well as information on flights, customers, and so on. We could, for example, choose to generate the source code in Java or .NET. This time, we will do it in .NET. To enable mobile work, we will implement a part for smart devices. This will be a small module meant for end users that will enable them to make queries on trips available and on the main tourist attractions that each city has to offer. We could generate this module for Android, for Windows, or for iOS. Each technology has its own specific programming language, operating systems, and native functionalities. Just as Genexus generates the programs of the web application on the platform selected, it'll do the same with programs for smart devices. Our choice here will be Android. And lastly, we will use Genexus Server to automatically manage our application so as to benefit from all its features. It is recommended for persons developing an application individually, as well as for team developments. Among other things, its multiple benefits include the possibility of working freely and being sure that nothing will affect the application on the server, having an automatic backup for our application, having a historical record of changes, the possibility of easily integrating a new developer, and so on.